Everybody, welcome back to Cities Modern Life Season 2, Episode 25. And last episode, we completed this this bugger over here, and we relocated the two furnaces, the blast furnace and the coke oven, which we've got running over here. Um, I've just got these last two pieces of steel going, uh, which we're going to need. And uh, while I've been waiting for that to happen, what I have done is I have come over here and just put in this path here. Now we we still need to throw some lighting down, but you know that's a uh, that's not that no not that that. Uh, but that's a job for later. Um, just wanted to integrate this into the uh, thing. I haven't done that door yet. Um, not sure exactly what I'm going to do there, but because obviously we've got this path here, which may or may not be a railway i don't know uh, plans still need to be made however the plans for the day involve moving most of the tech from over there and some additional tech and getting it over here and also working out storage for the creosote oil the coke and the steel as it comes out and slag when it comes out as well we need to basically get this stuff working in our favor um and right now uh it's all manual which is a complete pain in the bum so you're probably noticing that my system is set to look at xnet and the reason i'm looking at that all right first things first before we even go there let me take this out um because the reason I was making the steel was to upgrade this to the uh, blast furnace. We may want to move this over one as well. So I'll probably do that now. Because going forward we may want to add the uh, enhancements to it. I may not even want to use this. These pedestals may not really work, but that's fine. Um, so first things first, we need to get those and make 27 of those, and we combine 27 of those with 27 of those, and then they go and we place all those down again here. Hup. And again the same, over. Now we do need to do one additional thing, which I didn't bring with me, which is a hopper. So we'll go and grab that, and uh, we should be be good to go. And then we can start thinking about the other aspects of what we need to get this kind of thing working. Uh, hopper, hopper. If I were a hopper, I wouldn't have one. I know I haven't got a hopper. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, chest. I know I've got plenty of those and let me just get those together <laughs> while we're at it we shall place that in there we've got the coke what i would like to do is also get a little bit more steel going i haven't got a huge amount of coal coke right now but you know we'll live the opposite of the objective of all of this is to move us to the point where we have large amounts of that as well um it's amazing how much easier these projects become the more resources you get behind you who would have known eh? i mean it just seems like such a such a no-brainer um hmm. how do i get up there that's no that's not going to work how right let's try this then hup 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 ah bang yeah, that really does not work as a base, does it? Yeah, I suppose it's not bad. I've seen worse. Set those going, that should do some work for us. But more importantly, it's got um, the ability to input and output. We can input from, I think, the top, if I recall correctly. Um, and I think we can output from here, off the side. Uh, maybe the back, I can't remember. Those pedestals do not look right, but we'll uh, we'll worry about that later. Uh, that should work, it's the magic. Oh, we've got some more coal coke, that'll help. Pop that in there. Right. 
So let's go and start off with what we're going to need. So we are going to need a, a system to move the coal into the system, the coal coke out of the system and the creosote out of the system. The coal coke itself will need to go into the blast furnace along with iron if we sh whenever we, sh we need to do that. And um, the steel and the slag needs to come out. So to achieve that, I think we're going to start off with another XNet controller. And that's relatively straightforward. We're going to need a block of iron. And that should be that. A couple of iron, a couple and some gold. Uh -huh. Get the area of that, bit of that in there. Redstone and then the thingies. Redstone. And have I got any? See, I've disassembled most of them. This is probably short sighted. Uh, I thought it will be alright. Oh, if I do that, it's going to splurge everywhere, isn't it? Yes, it is, of course. Okay, that's fine. You can go in, you can go in, and then you lot can go in. And right, that should keep that ticking. Let's head down here and have a look for what was it? Uh, repeaters and the other ones. <laughs> the other ones, the ones I can't just forgotten, I've completely forgotten the name of. Wow, am I actually out of them? Oh, there's there we go. One of those. What was it? One of those and two repeaters? It was. So that should give us the means to make our controller. And then we're going to need a whole load of these, which is going to be gold, redstone and that. Um, this is nice and cheap, so uh, we'll sleep quickly just to get that going. And, uh, and cables, probably. I don't know how much. Yeah, I've got 61 cables and I've got some facade as well, which is quite nice. So let's have a look. Um, if I were lapis, does this even produce lapis? I can't remember, you know. Um, nim, 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 cyan, we've got cyan dye. The recipe for cyan dye is blue and green. Uh, I wonder whether I can deconstruct that. Just interested. We'll take that and give that a try. Uh, if there's a, not another, I can possibly get it from blue terracotta. Oh, and we can get it from the lapis that we're getting as well. Duh. <laughs> I'm going to go and try that anyway because I am interested. And. And this is as much, we're going to have to sort some storage out before long as well, because if I leave that much longer, that stuff's going to start overflowing. The The fish farm is already overflowing, so, right, let me just, if I put you, if I put uh, the recipe for that, so one of those... Gave me a Cambridge Blue okay that's interesting um what about the one two three four hang on one two three four five six seven eight of those now that should give me yeah um lapis and that but it's not a huge amount but that's all right we don't need vast amounts what we do need is chests 13 of those unlucky for some hopefully not me uh, we're going to need some redstone and we are going to need some gold and we should be good. Not quite there. Like that and then no that's probably well that'll get me some and then we can do that quickly. That's just break those down. 13 connectors should be more than adequate. And we can put that and that over there and that in there. And have I got any power connectors? No. 
So flux network, we need use, use U to make that. That is removing energy. So we redstone block and those the recipe for those is obsidian. Oh crap! Right. So from doing that, we're going to move on to having a look at efficiency upgrades for our pick. Uh, now the recipe for those is barrel and things. How many barrels have I got? Barrel? Oh, we've got plenty of those. Uh, and we can go up to five. So, and I've got five, that's handy. And we've got glowstone, we should have plenty of. So let us go and get... Is that right? Uh, not quite. That goes there. And we'll. That's got efficiency one, two, three, four, five. Well, that was a quick way of getting efficiency. <laughs> and now, armed with efficiency, we can go out and I can go and find some lava and we can uh, mine it up. Because doing it the other old fashioned way is painful. Let's have a look. Where do we think the nearest lava is? There's a pool over there. There's a pool over there. So, six or one, half a dozen to the other, really, isn't it? And then there's a pool over there. I think we'll head for that one. See you when I get there. Here we are. Uh, nice little lava pool. Let's get that converted over, pop that in, and let's see. Now, this was quite a slow process before. This is not a slow process. This is a much more acceptable process for uh, the mining of obsidian. So, uh, yeah, I am happy with that little improvement to our uh, super pick. And uh, we'll get this obsidian mined up. And uh, yeah, I'll be back ready to make the additional bits and pieces that we need for our... Oh, wow. That's quite a deep one, isn't it? Three deep. Who knew? Yeah, anyway, I'll be back once I've got a whole load of obsidian for our uh, project. And uh, see you in a moment. All right, while I was out, I went and did a couple, so I've got plenty of uh, of obsidian now. Because I always seem to be running out of it, so, you know, it just seemed to make a certain degree of sense to stock up. And that will give me those, and then if we jump in here and grab myself one of those, we should be good to make... You know, I've done what I've done, don't you? Yes, I missed my own inventory. Um, we should be good to make that, which is the one which removes energy from the flux network, which is what we want. Uh, we should probably have a little snooze. Um, while I was out there, so I went and had a look. Obviously, I did um, the uh, that lava lake there, and then I went down here, there was a lava lake. I could have gone over there to a lava lake, but I didn't. Uh, I went down this way towards this lava lake, didn't bother mining it. Over here, there looks to be a very, very interesting cave for a caving experience. And then I just kind of swung around the river here and then came back. Um, there's still loads and loads of stuff to uncover uh, around this area. Lots of exploration to do. But, um, yeah, we didn't do that today. Uh, I have got... Uh, are you not done yet? I've got a bit of uh, extra reptile meat cooking because, you know, my dinner's getting a bit light, light on the uh, ground there. Uh, right, so we've got you, we've got you, we've got you. Uh, there's an enderman over there who we don't want to argue with. Uh, well, I don't mind arguing with him, actually. But, um, oh, he's gone. He, he sensed my uh, motives there. Right. First thing I think we're going to need, well, there's a couple of things we're going to need. We need to think about bulk storage of items. Um, 
There certain items we're going to get lots and lots of. Cobble, stone, dirt, iron, coal. These are all items which are going to get more and more things. And there is a, I think it's, wow, well, let me go at industrial foregoings and in here there is uh i've got to find the damn thing the problem is these models are not familiar to me so i do have to hunt around a little bit there's a black hole controller um is not what we want <laughs> the black hole controller is not what we want we we want the black hole unit I think it's the black hole unit this thing got a manual industrial foregoings manual have I crafted that because it just uses some wood and some paper let me just check before we go looking for it we don't the other one is didn't I uh, Oh, hang on. There, I'm sure there was a... Hmm, that's a good point. I brought a whole load of books back with me as well. I thought I'd got the Tome of Ark, Ark and Hoofer in this thing. Let me just double check. Mod options. Tome of blah. I can't remember what the hell it's called. Something... No, uh, is it R? Is it the L? R, yeah. Maybe I don't. Maybe I didn't put it in. All right, in which case, maybe I should, because I'm starting to get to the books. So, industrial foregoings is a piece of paper and a log. Industrial foregoings manual, which is here. We've got. Getting started, generators, agriculture, storage, black hole unit, black hole controller, black hole tank, and item splitter. So, yeah, so it can basically is a, they can hold a lot of one item. That's the beastie we, we need to be thinking about for items. Now, we could use the black hole, well, for certain items, I think that's going to be more than adequate, and absolutely more than adequate. However, the immersive engineering has a few things as well up its sleeve, and obviously, nope, we need to go, that's not going to help me. Nope, we need to get in here, and we need to grab our engineer's manual. Um, if we come back out of here, we should be able to get into the tank which obviously we've used in the previous things, 512 buckets. It's not a huge amount, but it's enough. Um, and it can be piped in through the top or bottom, but it can only extract it from the bottom. But that's fine, because we, we've got that, and that needs treated wood fence and iron sheet metal. The silo is exactly the same, but it uses 50 iron sheet metal. Now, if we were to go, and I don't know whether we can get it, uh, the iron sheet metal reference, where are we? You would think it would have a me metal constructions, there we go. Uranium sheet metal, not really what I wanted. Uh-huh. Fences, blah, blah, blah. Somewhere in here. All right. You know what? Let's go and look at iron sheet metal. Du, du, du. Iron sheet metal is basically five or four iron plates makes four things. So we have got a hell of a lot of iron. We've got plenty of these hammers. I mean plenty of these hammers. Because every time we've raided a thing. Now, eventually, we'll get the machine going for this. But just for speed, we'll, uh, we'll do plenty of this. Okay. And 
These are, was it? Was it that? Four stacks of 64. If that isn't enough for us to make a whole load of tanks and a whole load of everything else, then I don't know what is. Um, we need treated sticks to make... Hmm. No. Where are you? Fence. Oh, you're going to be insisting on that as well, are you? Damn you. Not a problem, but... We'll do... Uh, So, yeah, we're going to need at least nine of these to start off with. No, 12. And the reason for 12 will become apparent, I hope. So we've got a semi-broken one of those. We've got plenty of this stuff. Let's go in and get some tanks set up. Uh, tanks and silos, actually if I'm going to be correct, because we're going to silo the slag from the um, from the system. We'll hide the rest of the stuff. The slag is um, a kind of a, a waste product. But you see, we've got full on so toil. We've got slag and steel over here. So let me get a... I'll put the fences back. Back in a moment. All right, so the tank is one. Now we may have to move some of these blocks that are connecting to it right now. That's one, two. Let me just double check. There are one, two, three, and then the fourth layer is there. So we should have one, two, three, and then we can come up here and knock this off in the solid and we can use you get our little hammer and give you a love tap and bang we've got our first tank nicely next to the creosote um the silo we're going to put over here now the silo obviously is a bigger structure so uh, it's going to require a little bit more of that now the silo is let me just come back over here i think it goes uh so there's one two three four five and then the top okay so we'll do that one okay that's that's one two, three, four, five, and then the top, which should, if my calculations are correct, give me a huge silo, storage silo, which is good, good, good. Okay, now the last thing we need is another tank down here. Or should we put there? I'll put the other tank actually somewhere else. Let me, um, let me just sleep before anybody comes along to ruin our building here. It does look, does look good with all this industrial stuff going off next to it, doesn't it, though? Uh, <laughs> even though I do say so myself. So I'm going to put the tank at this side. One, two, three, four. And again, we've got one and uh, one, two, three. That's a shame. Uh, we'll take the thing down. It's it's in the way. I was hoping to be able to keep it in place, but not a problem. Get this out of the way, and the world will be much happier. Well, other than the tree. The tree is not probably not going to be very happy. 
It's been chopped down after all. Oh dear. Let me do three and then the lid. Nearly fell in again. Plenty of spare capacity for uh, things. Uh, I might actually... I don't know whether this pond's going to stay, so I'm not going to get excited about that right now. We're going to pop you in there, however. And that should be a happy little bunny all round. So we've got tanks at that side, tanks at that side. It's all looking very industrial. Let's go and get some things. First things first, I need to get you... Uh, I need to pick up you, uh, and I need to get those, and we'll pop a bit of dirt in here. Now, I need to make another one of these, which is cheap enough. Do I need another one of those, or do I just need some cable? I'm just trying to think. Uh, if I look at this, let's... Always active. Hmm. Let's get a cable. Because that needs water. It's got very little latex in it. Let's have that out. And we'll... Uh, damn it. We'll just put this all back for the time being. Uh, give me, give me, give me, give me a pine. No, uh, pine, there we go. Naturally, I'm going to leave all of that behind, as well as that. I don't need that, and the engineer's manual can go away. Perfect. This is full of latex, so we're going to need to make a barrel to keep that in the recipe for that is three and one two three four five because i don't want to lose that latex uh, oh crap and i've got meh. okay you you need to Stop doing what you're doing, and you need to come up here, up here, and then we can pick that up. You need to... I don't know. Uh, I'll just borrow that temporarily as a place to leave some water. Ah, give me. And what we should be able to do is fill that latex up in there mm -hmm. and again and again and one more after that oh damn it come here any chance thank you and pick that up Right, world appears to be good and happy-ish, so uh, we'll go with that. The only other thing I need to say is one of those, which we shall get going now. Uh, the recipe for that was a dropper. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of... No, seven of those, isn't it? Seven... And one. Hmm. Give me that. Uh, dropper, uh, some gold nuggets, and a weighted pressure plate. Well, that's easy enough. Weighted pressure plate, a dropper, and gold nuggets. Gives me another one of those. All right. <coughs> 
that should be enough for us to start getting getting some basics in place I think and the first thing we need to do is decide where so I would like to get latex press tree fluid extractor and ch -ch -ch -ch. let me get this right hydrator not hydrated we need that that's the first thing so let's come down to about here whoops and then we'll put you down one hmm if I've got anything I can put in there to let me let me get that converted over and if I use that just to be I mean obviously I'll recognize that that is not a natural block it's just so if I'm excavating underneath here I don't automatically kind of go oh, and then just plop this thing in so water condensator in there and that's going to do its thing it's got a water tank uh, it's always on and it's I don't know what I've got no idea what I would want to use that for but what we can do is we can come out of that side and we can come out of that side uh, and that is always on we can take our hydrator and place that there so that's good and again it requires redstone always on that's fine actually we'll put you on to require redstone for the time being and then we have the the latex processing unit goes there and hmm why why is that not working yeah that is not happy okay why I mean the latex processing unit placed there needs it and what are this because it hasn't got energy let me just try let me just try some I mean I would have thought it wouldn't have required energy I mean that's rendering strangely but you know interesting doesn't seem to like that connection it's not a major problem but it's oh it's enough of one that um you know hmm all right oh crap enough of one that it's an issue here right I need to have a little think let me work this through and I shall be back with you in a moment all right I have a working kind of solution going on here what I need to do though is strip this apart a little bit uh, and and take all of this out and this is doing its thing but not quite the way I want it to go so I want to place a let's have a look I'd like to bring hmm, cable 
down. Where do I want my controller to start? Let's stick the controller in here. Because it's as good a place as any and I can do the work I need. Um, and then we can come over here and we can place our, con our connector. Well, hang on. Let's get this done proper. So we're going to take you down. I know you're going to come across to here, which is, I suppose I should also be filling this, backfilling this, otherwise I'm going to have holes. Um, and what we'll do is we'll place the power array here and we'll do a SID power. And we shall place a connector here. And this can be controller for sake of a better name and then we'll bring this down all the way to here where we will place a connector and that will be latex tank um, and what we should probably do then is also fill in as much of these gaps as we can so this should be invisible as far as the system's concerned. And then what we will have is we'll be taking it right. We need to change this round. So this is the, so this channel is a power and we are going to be creating an extract from there. And we're, we're going to insert here and here. That should be fine. That's all getting juice. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the latex out of there. Extract. We'll delete that. Uh, let's do this one latex. So we're going to take the latex out of there and we're going to not insert it into there. We're going to insert it into there. So again, that should be going down. And if we were to go over ah, here, we'll not see much, but if we hold, uh, I don't know whether it's a, yeah, 68 millibuckets of latex going into that right now. So that's that. Uh, this needs to be always on and we'll give it a stack of logs. That has already made some of this this stuff that's fine um, basically what I want this to do is run uh, constantly and fill this up with these little tiny rubber pieces and then when it's full stop um, this is doing its own thing what we do need to do however is now is, well we don't actually need to sleep now I just like to sleep because I don't like getting blown up by creepers um, we're going to do an extract from here and we are going to do uh, an, no, 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 no. Let's cancel that one. Let's go over to here. We'll create a new fluid. And we're going to call you water. Uh, and that's going to be an extract water and um, water is going to be inserted into there actually let's do let me make that latex machine because what we're going to do is we're going to insert water into there but we're also going to do an extract from there and what we should find now is that that is working and as it gets more latex it will run through right so with that in place let's have a quick sleep i'm gonna to have to go and deal with the uh chuckleheads outside in a moment with that in place we've now got let's have a look we've got the we've got plenty of capacity in there we're going to need some logs because that's a little bit low we can take that and oh christ um 
Why has this got... I was out there looking and thinking, why has this actually even got water in it? Oh, hang on. That's not what I wanted to do. I mean, it shouldn't have water in it. It should have nothing in it. Oops. Plenty of latex in there. So that's empty. We've got the creosote there. Uh, we should be good now to fill this back in for the time being. Uh, we do need to think about the other elements of the system, which are going to be the... This control is also going to run all of those over there, but we need to bring those into it. Need to give that some more wood because I think we're on to a second thing here. This is doing its is happily going away. Okay, um, that's I'm happy with. Let me check uh, how much things. Are. Let me just actually go into my journey map for a second, and let me go and hide that because I don't want it on poking into my vision over there. Um, Sue. Armed with that, how many channels have I got left? Five. Yes, enough. We need to come... Uh, underneath this... Hmm. That's going to be awkward. Just realised I've walked out here. I knew there were hostiles on the map and I've not even checked before ah see that could have been uh, embarrassing couldn't it hello sir how is that for you uh, what's over there then bob 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 do 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 Hello, I know you're here, where are you? Not there. Anyway, um, yeah, so the next thing we need to do is work on these. So let me just do a little bit of digging around, get some lines in underneath, and uh, I'll be back with you in a second. All right, I've uh, added the first stage, which is coke oven and the creosote tank. So... What we're going to do is we're going to start off with a fluid. Actually, we could get away. We can, let's delete that channel. Let's take this fluid. Um, if I'm clever about this, which I usually am. <laughs> Eventually, I'm a bit scatterbrained, but usually reasonably. That's got 12. I put this... Uh, tank ah uh, that's not working that's why let me just go and grab that a second so i put the latex that we the, oh, the latex the creosote that we uh, got into the top i just piped that straight in and we should be good to grab a, bar a bucket of that so what have we got going on here now this is extracting from the latex and put it in, putting it into here. So once we have latex, we can do that. But we can go in here and we can create an extract of creosote. And in there, we can create an insert of creosote. And it's over there. You can see that. So it's quite a nice feature, actually, they've added to uh, this. So... So that should be doing its thing. Uh, shall we quickly sleep? Yeah, I don't really want to get this blown up. <laughs> it's not so much getting killed. It's it's more the um, the pain of having your building blown up when you've when it's chiseled and bits that really just doesn't bear thinking about. So that's got fourteen. There's fifteen. So that is most definitely working. We can chuck a block of you in there and that should all be happy and good. Now we can we can also use a uh, conduit facade 
and we can place that in there yes it's got a funny little pipe sticking up i'll live that that you know this is modern minecraft after all so this is now working and it's creating that now the coal coat needs to go in here uh, and to do that we're going to need a connector now the question is can i do it from underneath let me oh well If I come through this here and go and get the connectors again, we should be good to come up to there. And that is the blast furnace. Now, Let's go and see if we can actually input, extract coal coke from here and put it into here um, from the bottom. I don't know whether it's going to be sided. That's the only thing with the blast furnace because it's in a more advanced wee beastie. But it's uh, this is an item network and we are going to extract, for, uh, actually we probably should go and grab a piece of coal coke, shouldn't we? That might be uh, a good idea. Let's go and have a look at you. Just take one of those, that'll do. Do do do. And see whether we can't XNet that across. How are you doing? You, uh, you're getting there steadily. We're getting lots of that, um, that stuff going on. Right, so item, we are going to go for an extract. It's a white list of that. And that is going to be inserted into here again we'll whitelist that see whether that worked <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, not not noticeably why not why you no work Hmm. Is it because it's coming into the bottom, which is actually not a valid input point? Does it need to therefore go into the back? If it does need to go into the back, will you work to that point there rather than having to actually go in pointing inwards? Uh, blast furnace or do you need to go into the top it's a mystery yep yeah, getting coke. plenty of that going in which is all nice uh, so we've got an extract from that and that is an insert and um, we're going to whitelist that Now let's see what's happening. I've got a feeling it's going to have to go into the top. Yeah, it's not working still. Or does it have to go in right to the back? <sighs> Let me double check the manual on this one. This is probably slightly more complex than, than that. So I'll be back with you in a sec. Yep, it's specific. So iron comes out of the front slag out of the back and iron and fuel goes into the top so we need that is slag if you'll pardon the my uh, pardon my french that is steel we're going to need uh, another connector for that anyway so uh, and that is blast input. And we're then going to need to hook all of this up. Now, fortunately, if I can get myself onto, fortunately, the... Um, Can I 
just get around the bank here. Right, and over there. I was going to say, fortunately, the this can all be... If I can just... Oh man. Why? There you go. This can all be hidden um, using facades and, you know, a little bit of construct carefully and artfully hopefully artfully anyway hopefully I can do this artfully I'd, I'd, I hate to think that I can't do it artfully after all uh, artful is my middle name we do still need to leave a gap there because I do want an input into this for the for the slag uh, okay let's go and see now if we can't got the some slag we've got that we do need to put iron into the top but that's fine and we've got a steel output which we need to find a destination for which we don't have yet so that's not a problem so how are you doing ticking along you're nearly oh, that's interesting what's happened there You have got creosote in you, haven't you? That's what's happened there. Okay. So what we actually... Let me do that. This is extracting from the latex into the latex tank. And that needs a filter of that. And obviously latex out can have a filter of that as well. That's fine. Uh, mm, we'll sleep, as I say. It's not so much that I worry about dying. It's more that I worry about people, things blowing up my stuff. <laughs> uh, and then we should be good. If we now go and break that... Pop you back, give you a little tap. That's a latex, and hopefully, yep, and that's right now over there. Okay, that's all good. Let's fix that, and that will continue doing its thing. So now we need to take our channel edit this one so this is taking out curl coke and it is going to put that it's going to create an insert with cold coke uh, slag is going to be an extract which will come out elsewhere that's fine uh, we'll come to that so let's go and see if that's now now playing cold coke is gone Cold Coke is here. Excellent. Right, I need another connector. I don't think I've got another connector. So let me go and get that built. I may be a little bit long, so I'll check how long I've been recording as well. And I'll possibly build some uh, disguise for this. I don't know what we're going to use yet, but we'll come up with something. And I'll be back in a sec. All right. Uh, trying to figure out where the hell that's gone. Um, it should be in here but that's the only explanation I can think of anyway. Um, I have got the last bit, which is just what we're going to do to uh, make this look like it's a thing. Now we've got, grind, we've got a whole load of blocks, but I think we are going to go with uh, rusty. I don't want to use these transparent ones. They, they cause me all sorts of problems. Let's go with the rusty the plates but let's also get some very rusty plates and we'll place one of those down and we'll place one of those down and then we'll jump in here we'll grab these and we're going to take you and we're going to go there and we're also going to come here and here oops here uh, we need to get up to the top again. This is the only, this is the only issue with this bloody machine. Ah, 
Let's place a, one of them there and, and there and maybe there and there. And then we'll get a very rusty plate and we'll pop that there and there. <laughs> yeah, made this made this harder than it needed to be, haven't I? Uh, and there. Um, maybe actually one those there as well, just so it's completely hidden. And that gives us our uh, screenshot for the episode. It has been a very long episode. I do apologise. I, I get carried away with XNet. I love the mod, and uh, and it's so easy to get carried away. But um, this is doing its thing automatically. That's nearly um, out of logs. So, yeah, I think next time we will uh, move on and maybe move some more of the machines over. Maybe do something else for a break for a while as well. Not sure yet. But until then, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.